my name is Stanley Santiago and I am back here at Kicks and Bricks channel. I am so happy and excited to share you my new sneakers and we are going to unbox and review this. So for those who are here with us right now, thank you all for tuning in to all our followers here at YouTube. Thank you so much. And for those who are new in this channel, I hope you could stay with us until the end of this video and we welcome you. And now, please stay with us as this will be our first sneaker review and unboxing video for this year 2021. And let's get into this. What we have here is a Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle and its official colorway is Tour Yellow George Green Sale colorway. And this was released December 17 for the retail cost of 100 US dollars. This was co-released with another colorway which is the Villain Red and Neptune Green colorway. Now as we all know or maybe for few, the Nike and Sakai collaboration was a huge success back in 2019 when they released the Nike LD Waffle. This Nike Sakai LD Waffle became also the sneaker of the year of 2019 and this is how it looks like. Now one year later, 2020, the Nike and Sakai made another collaboration and this time around it's a Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle. This year's collaboration concept is the past and present of Nike running shoes. This Sakai and Nike collaboration is a combination of Nike Air Pegasus of 1983 and the Nike Vaporfly. So before we start into the sneaker, let's check the box itself first. We have all orange sneaker box here. Matte finish on most of the sneaker box. And here you can see a Nike and swoosh silhouette and branding on a glossy finish and uh, you can see here on the sides a Nike and swoosh um, branding in black and white and on this side you can see here the sneaker size my size 10 and a half and pretty much that's it also inside the sneaker itself the sticker box it has a um, Specialized paper wrap of the Sakai branding, and pretty much that's it. And it also comes with a regular paper wrap inside, and that's it. That's all for the packaging for this Nike Sakai vapor waffle. Now, let's get into the sneaker. This Nike and Sakai Vapor Waffle was constructed with a yellow nylon mesh base material. It has an overlay of soft suede or nubuck material in green that can be found at the forefoot toe cup and in yellow at the center that covers the eyelets for the shoe laces. A typical Nike Sakai double design detail we can find at the lateral side of the shoes. It has a double swoosh from which one on top is made up of leather material in green and below it is printed in white overemphasized swoosh. It covers the upper mesh material and portion of the midsole. At the medial side of the shoe, we can only see a single swoosh which is again in leather green material overlaying the yellow mesh nylon material as well. Moving further back of the shoe, we have a leather heel cup and on top of it, it has a Nike Sakai co-branding, same material and color as with the swoosh. To finish it up, it has a green nylon pull tub with a small yellow Nike swoosh at the bottom. For the laces, again, similar with the LD Waffle, it comes with the standard double laces in white and black intertwined together. But if you don't feel the double colored laces, they give you a secondary pair of white flat laces. 
Underneath the laces, we also have a dual tongue design. On top, we have a constructed white mesh. Same material found at the side panels. It has a Nike sportswear black and white nylon tub. The bottom layer, or the secondary tongue, this is more of a traditional tongue which is made up of black nylon material with a Nike Sakai black and white nylon tub. Pulling out the insole, it has a standard Nike insole but it has a Nike Sakai co-branding in black stamped at the heel portion. The upper of this paper waffle sits atop of a unique midsole. It has a double layered midsole wherein the top midsole is painted in white halfway around yet going to the forefoot is painted in black. The second midsole which consists of two foams has an all white foam as the bottom midsole. Then we have a yellowing white foam or sail colorway foam that looks like a heel wedge in between the first and second midsole at the back heel portion. This detail is the most distinct or striking detail of the shoe. The heel wedge looks out of place and a curved up upper midsole at the heel gives an unfinished look from which eventually Nike and Sakai able to make it work out. Well, for me, the visual look just grows on me, yet I like the fact that the midsole made it look big as I dig and I like chunky sneakers. Underneath this chunky midsole, we have a traditional Nike waffle outsole in black made up of rubber. It has its waffle traction patterns with Nike swoosh branding at the center. And that completes the look and construction of this Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle. For me, between the two designs, the LD Waffle of 2019 and the 2020 Vapor Waffle, I would say that I like this Vapor Waffle more as it looks more aggressive and like I said, it is a chunky shoes that I recently am a fan with. Nonetheless, the Nike Sakai LD Waffle is also great looking shoes. If you would prefer a simple and lightweight casual modern sneaker, the LD Waffle is right there on top of my selection. And that completes the overall look and the details of the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle. Now this time around, let's lace up the shoes and let's see how it looks on feet. Now in terms of sizing, this Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle is a true to size sneakers. As compared to the 2019 LD Waffle, where in the fitting and the sizing runs big. Now I am a size 10 and a half and this sneakers is a 10 and a half and it fits perfectly on my feet. We have finally reached the end of this video. Thank you all for staying here with me. I hope you appreciate this video and I hope it helps you, gives you enough information and idea before you purchase your own pair or just simply appreciate the sneaker by watching this video. Again, my name is Stanley Santiago and I'll see you again in my next video. Good luck to everyone.
this year 2021 and I hope everyone will stay safe all the time. Thanks a bunch and I'm out for now.